Imagine a bank robber escapes a bank and then he ends up in a house where he's taken eight to nine people as a hostage. And when this crisis is over, this robber is nowhere to be found. That's the story of anxious people on Netflix. But is it worth your time? We're going to be debating in a moment. So stick around, guys. Ah! All right, so Anxious People came out in 2021. It's available on Netflix with six episodes. It's a Scandinavian Swedish show. The director of uh, this uh, TV series is uh, Felix Herngren, and uh, the lead actor here is Alfred Swenson. He goes by the name of Jack in the movie. So Jack is a cop in the show. He works along with his father, who is also a cop, and they live together in uh, suburbs of um Sweden and uh, there is an opening scene in this show where a kid is running on the bridge and there is a man who's well dressed in a suit and he has a backpack with him and he's putting stones uh, in the backpack and this kid is curious he wants to ask this guy you know what really is going on and uh, this guy hands him a uh, envelope and he says you should go and give this to a bank manager and uh, the kid uh, realizes that this guy is going to jump off uh, the bridge so he says he'll do it if um, this guy doesn't jump off the cliff but that doesn't happen and this person jumps off the cliff and he commits suicide fast forward you're gonna see this guy as i said jack he's turned into a cop he's exercising he's running on the bridge and that moment is always there in his mind he's always thinking you know as to what really happened that he couldn't stop this guy from uh, committing suicide now back to the story of uh, anxious people you know in the introduction i said that there was a bad bank robber that took eight to nine people hostage and the crisis got unfolded and this is a story of how Jack is going to ultimately find out who the robber is while he does that he's also going to uncover the anxiety of all these hostages what is it that keeps them up at night what are their challenges and troubles so that's where the story gets interesting it is it's not just about uh, finding the or nabbing the um, robber but it is also uncovering the real truth behind all these people that uh, uh, came for an open house and this robber goes into that open house and he basically just takes everyone hostage there is a strong message in this movie which i am going to be covering uh, later on so right from the beginning uh, you will uh, see that uh, you know as this bank robber has taken several people hostage they are a variety of different characters you know you have one pregnant lady with her wife you have a real estate agent you've got a banker you have an owner of the house you have an old couple that are uh, addicts of IKEA they love their uh, shopping from there so and there is one guy who is dressed in a bunny uh, rabbit dress so I'll be talking about more uh, later on that but one once that situation happens uh, these uh, father son cop they are trying to take control of the situation but because they don't have experience in that they end up calling a SWAT team from uh, Stockholm and ultimately the crisis is over all the people are freed but before all that happens there is a series of events that happens and it's very interesting you know so for example there is one gunshot happens uh, during this hostage crisis second um, at some point the hostages they ask for pizza now who would ever think that uh, someone who has um, uh, kept all these people as hostage are going going to order a pizza but that happens fireworks happen so anxious people as much as it feels like it's a serious uh, show it's not really a, a serious show you know I also thought that uh, you know this could be something um, you know different uh, I watched the trailer but Anxious People is really a comedy drama and um, you know at every step of the way at, in every episode there is something that they're trying to uncover so the, the first uh, episode is all about this uh, drama that unfolded about the crisis situation and the, and the next five episodes is all about how Jack pieces together the real culprit behind who this robber is and as he does that he also uncovers the motivations of people their anxiety and hence the word anxious people 
for this uh, show. So let's talk about how does that happen? How does Jack actually understand the motivations or anxiety of all these people? So he is now uh, getting very anxious. He cannot believe that all the hostages were freed, but uh, the robber was not to be found. Even the SWAT team that came inside the house was not able to find. He keeps debating, maybe there was a secret passage, but um, in the end, uh, you know, all efforts fall flat. He constantly uh, is looking to now interview all those people that came for the open house. So that's where uh, this thing gets more interesting now. So initially Jack, uh, he is pushy and he's trying to get as much as information from each of these people. First of all, he starts to interview uh, this old couple uh, whom I talked about. They were addicts uh, about uh, IKEA shopping. So the husband and the wife, they, they like to do home renovation and their trick is that they go to these places in Sweden, wherever the open houses are, their plan is that they tell everyone that, hey, this house has mold, no one should live here, and ultimately everyone leaves so that they can buy the house at a cheaper price, they can remodel and flip it. So that is their model. That's why they were there at the open house. But as Jack is talking to the old lady, the old lady, um, because he's pushy, she almost breaks down. She says that she does all these things because of her husband. Husband took care of all the kids when um, they were born, and she was going out for working but now when the kids are gone now she wants to help her husband you know get his esteem high and being able to cajole himself that yes he can also do something substantial for the family and the husband hears these conversations so you know he he feels that my wife um, uh, wasn't uh, truthful to me she's only joining me because she wants me to have that my self-esteem high and that's where he withdraws so you see that uh, you know anxiety coming in between this couple and you know why they go to shopping and why they're flipping houses and so on. So that's that's one element of this couple. The second uh, is about the pregnant lady. I talked about this. So the pregnant lady is anxious that her wife is going to leave her because she starts to get uh, some kind of um, vibes from her wife. Her wife, uh, you know, when she comes, she says, this house is probably not for us. It's a gut feeling. So that is another uh, anxiety that this person has in their relationship. There is a real estate agent when Jack tries to interview her she narrates that she doesn't have good selling skills and her company is going to go bankrupt she probably will get fired so she's always anxious about you know how is it she's going to pay the bills so that is that's another anxiety in this particular person in the very beginning i said that this uh, person who committed suicide who jumped off the bridge he hands over a uh, letter to the boy who is jack and and jack gives the letter to this banker and the banker always keeps thinking that it is because of her that this person uh, committed to the side because it was 2008 it was financial crisis she didn't she couldn't give loan to people uh, but as she's doing more research she figures out this open house is where this man used to live who committed suicide so she's always anxious she's she just wants to go to the house just to check out how her family is doing uh, if they if that guy has any kids and so on so that is that anxiety that's always brewing inside her and then jack also has his own anxiety along with uh, his dad and that is because he has a sister who is a drug addict and every time he she gets money she runs away to Stockholm at one point she does an overdose and she's admitted to the hospital both of them are crying so you know the, no one's life is perfect you know people might think that uh, this is a hostage situation eight to nine people are in the crisis you know they must have just come out sure everyone has problems but the story very beautifully unravels these hidden agendas uh, of people and you know what is it that bothers them uh, from day to day his life and and I think that sometimes we overlook that and and that's why I like the story a lot is that it it does all of this via a comical angle uh, I think director Felix did do a, a good job in my opinion so what he does is that he really uh, keeps you hooked to the story and uh, that's all because of how the story is flowing uh, you know uh, as uh, the audience uncovers that you know these are real people you know they go to an open house whether it's the robber whether it is someone else everyone has some kind of challenges or anxiety that's happening. I do want to mention this to you that at the end, Jack is able to find uh, the robber. Her face is covered. His father has seen the footage of this robber in a bank, but he deletes the video. He thinks that this is a lady who uh, is struggling. She needs to get custody of uh, both her kids. So he deletes the footage. Jack, on the other hand, is pretty perturbed. He almost tells his father that, uh, you know, you've taken law in your own hands and, you know, 
what kind of father or role model are you? I used to look up to you for everything. So he goes up to um, that house, which was an open house. There's an old lady, an owner. She keeps this robber and her two kids so that they can have uh, a good life. So he reaches to, uh, to their house and when he does, he sees those two kids. Uh, it melts uh, his heart and he eventually lets uh, this robber go. And I think that is definitely something that you know I was not expecting. I thought that Jack is going to uh, apprehend the suspect and bring her back t- uh, to jail because she committed a crime. But that doesn't happen here. It was totally out of the blue for me. There is one particular scene that I also want to uh, bring up here for my uh, fans here is the discussion between the husband and wife, the old couple that came to the open house. So I did mention to you that the old lady uh, during her initial conversation with the cop says that I only help my husband because you know I want his esteem to be high. Uh, she does some tricks here and there. She gets a bunny. You know somehow the the pricing of the house could go down. Don't ask me how, but somehow it, there is that scene where the husband and wife. The husband realizes that he's been selfish. He uh, is taking a lot of help from his wife to help with IKEA projects and so on. But he never really asked his wife that what is it that she wants. And uh, you know she gives in. She says I love cinema and uh, you know that's what I wanted to do. But that's okay. But then the husband says no, it's not okay. Let's go. Let's watch uh, a 9 p.m. Uh, show today, a romantic movie. And I thought that really uh, was a beautiful scene between an old couple. They hug each other and you know they they tell each other this is what is important to them. So we have to respect each other's interests. There is a second scene um, also that I found very interesting is that um, when this robber is there in the open house, it's a comedy of errors happening. This old man, he is like being a jerk, and uh, you know at some point he says I'm hungry, and he just goes into the kitchen. Imagine you're in that situation in a hostage situation. So a robber is outside the the door. You're all inside, and all you care about is you know you want to go and have a snack. You go to the kitchen, open the fridge, heat something. Uh, there is another lady who is cutting lime. There is this pregnant lady who goes into the bed. She wants some rest because she she's pregnant. So there are things, unexpected things that are happening, which it's not a standard robbery and hostage situation. So you know I thought this was something unique. It was fresh, and uh, you know I enjoyed when everyone, all of them decide that they need to order pizza and the cop actually gets boxes of pizza for them. He orders fireworks. This is definitely a a very different um, TV shows from what you would uh, have been uh, previously seeing. So I think if I have to uh, focus on the messaging of this show, it is all about giving equal importance to your partner in a relationship. This is about not having any communication gaps. It's about being there for your partner when they have to be there. You know, one of the pregnant lady when she gets pregnant her uh, wife is not there with her and then one of the guys convinces the old man convinces her to go and be at the hospital you know it's all about being there for the family and so on and in the end uh, if you see Jack does not um, apprehend the uh, robber and I think it speaks on the compassion that exists in the Swedish society that's what uh, I as an Indian uh, person judging from the behavior of uh, this actor if I'm wrong please comment uh, in the section below would be would love to see uh, what you guys think but definitely a strong message that comes out from anxious people it's funny it's uh, laughable there are jokes uh, dialogues are uh, quirky and you know it gets hooked you from the start I watched it as you know in English audio and subtitles it was perfectly fine to me I almost felt that these guys were speaking in English the original characters or actors were speaking in English that was great and it is an interesting story it's it's something uh, you know a drama a hostage situation that turns into comedy uh, how many uh, of the shows uh, that you have seen where this actually happens and I'm talking about international cinema so the last thing that I'm gonna leave you with is that you won't know until you see it you know everything that I'm talking about right now it only will make sense when you watch anxious people I thought it was gonna be a serious show but it is more of a comedy drama uh, less of the hostage situation but do more of you know the anxietiness of everyone and how they deal with it equally and how they respect the feelings of the robber this is something also very important that they don't just let go of the robber the robber actually comes with her two daughters and stays at one of at that that owner's house so there's a lot of compassion in the society it is different from the other stories that I have seen and I thought I totally love this show so guys I'm gonna give it eight out of ten and if you guys like this video if you want to subscribe you want to comment you can please do so but i'll see you uh, for the next time take care bye bye